Hello, welcome. This is a little video because I got asked about how to simplify your life and live in a bit more minimalist and what you can do. And this is for ladies and gents. What you can do first, a very simple process if you're struggling with this, is to simplify your wardrobe. And what I want you to do is don't throw everything out straight away, don't suddenly go to minimal minimal. And what I want you to do is just take all your clothes out the wardrobe, all your clothes out your drawers. And I want you to just pick out all your absolute favourite clothes that just make you feel good. Literally put them on and see how you feel. Put them aside. Then everything else, have a look at it. Think about it. Think why do you have it? What value does it have? How does it make you feel? You know, did you wear something on someone's a special occasion and you just felt great and had a good day and it always reminds you of that. I said separate your clothes into feelings, not into how they look necessarily, but into feelings, how they make you feel. And just separate them and put them aside in your wardrobe and you'll have one section of clothes that just make you feel great. Yeah? Wear them as often as possible. And slowly you'll realise that there's a whole section of your wardrobe you're just not wearing. Yeah? You've been wearing it for other people, you've been wearing it because you think maybe it looks a certain way. And you'll just stop wearing them, maybe you'll donate them to a charity shop, sell them on Facebook, eBay, wherever you can sell your clothes. You know, but for me personally and my partner, we just gave away a lot of clothes because <laughs> we just didn't wear them and we didn't need them. Once we started picking out just our favourite clothes and what we need, for me, like for her, it's how she feels and like for me, it was practical and how it feels. I had to have clothes that I, I want to wear and clothes that I like and clothes that are practical. Yeah. So I hope that gives you a little tip, a little shortcut into how you can minimalise your life. Like I said, start with your clothes. It's a nice simple process. Secondly, start with your products in the bathroom. Go to your bathroom and have a look at how many products you have for your hair, for your body, for your skin. How many things are you putting on your body? And when you think about it, think of a nicotine patch. You put a nicotine patch on your body anywhere, on your skin, and it's absorbed into your system. So what's the chances whatever you're putting on your skin is absorbed into your system? Just think about it. Yeah? And then start thinking about what you're putting on and do you want to put on that much? See it as junk food. I said, disclaimer, this isn't medical advice. I'm not a psychiatrist. I'm just telling you from personal experience. And I've got a disclaimer in my description as well, just making it clear for you. But for me, it's all about minimalizing not what I want, but what I need. And that just makes things simple. Life becomes a lot more simple and you get done the things you want to get done instead of being distracted by so many other things. I mean, and you can up the quality. If you're spending loads of money on lots and lots of products, you can buy one or two more expensive products and still save money. Yeah? And be putting better quality into your, into your body. Like I said, try and look for a natural soap, an organic one. Like I said, change your moisturizer to coconut oil, almond oil. These rich, nourishing oils that are actually good for you. So when they're on the skin, not only do they give the skin a good effect, but they're absorbed into your system and that's also good. So, if you're suffering from itchiness, by the way, itchy hair, itchy scalp, or painful hair, painful scalp, a lot of time this can come down to what shampoo you're putting in. Same with your bed sheets. If your bed sheets are what you wash your clothes in, you know, has a lot of chemicals and you have sensitive skin, you're going to get itches. You're going to feel uncomfortable. You might just feel a little agitated. If you suffer from anxiety, these sort of things, you'll be surprised how much more pressure they're building on your system. So minimalize your bathroom products. Try and clean them up and look for more natural and like I said when I say natural just if you can't understand the ingredient on a label just take that as unnatural for now that's just an easy way to look at it if you can't if it's a long complicated word just go I just don't want that if it says almond oil it's simple you know it's like food like looking for vegetables you can tell the difference when you've got a packet and it's got a million ingredients you don't know what half the stuff is so just simplify and that's making it more minimal slowly but slowly you'll realize this just gets easier and easier yeah, and you, before you know it, things are just simplified in your life and you've just got more time. And who doesn't want more time? Yeah, more time to do what you want to do. Alright, drop a comment. Let me know if you're going to try this out. Let me know if you've tried it out already and how it went for you. And let me know any other videos you would like or anything you'd like to request. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.